What's up YouTube? This is Hal Runner from the Posable Plastic Team here today to review Mohonic of the Discover the Force collection. So let's get started. First here's a look at the back three dimensional image that's on the packaging for Mohonic. I like this figure a lot. I like the accessories it comes with. First off there's a flag that's made of a really really thin vinyl printed vinyl and then it's connected to the pole by a thin piece of transparent tape. Here's a close up. There's no real detail except for that grip. Then you have the regular game die that comes with the Discover the Force Wave. Here's the card. Very good art for the figure. That's a scene taken out of episode one. And here's the stats for any of you that play the game. Now on to the figure. It comes with a blaster rifle. For whatever reason, Hasbro chose to include that with the figure has uh, some paint on it, uh, two shades, there's a brown and a silver. Comes with a black stand. The figure has a really, really nice head sculpt. I like it a lot. It's got a hole chiseled out of the left ear attached ears uh, I guess that equals four ears kind of more like antennas the three eyes are really really good its mouth has been created to be open kinda looks like it's singing and uh, as far as the back goes there's a lot of uh, little paint details there and there's a lot of paint details on the feet as well with the little freckles and spots and whatnot He also has a lot of armor, shoulder armor, and uh, this is all rubber. This does not disconnect. But it does look really cool, and it doesn't really hinder the posability of the figure. As far as the joints go, the head is on a ball joint, and it's fully rotatable, but the nodding of the head is somewhat hindered by the mouth of the figure. The shoulders are on a ball hinge joint, so are the elbows and the hands swivel. The torso spins in kind of a unique way. The hips move forward to backwards. The knees are on ball, ball jointed hinges and so are the feet. But the feet have a really wide range of movement. We're going to give this figure an 8 out of 10 just because we don't think it has the uh, collectability and the popularity factor that some of these other new figures have. But it's still a really cool figure and uh, it's really collectible especially if you're a Dark Forces fan. Pitch Black was just saying how uh, they should have given it some grenades because uh, that's the primary role of this guy in uh, the Jedi Knight series was a grenade thrower so I thought that was kind of funny but uh, yeah I mean it's definitely a cool figure and it's definitely got some interesting features about it thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and you can also check us out on Twitter if you guys have any questions about this figure or any ideas for upcoming reviews don't hesitate to email us and we link below